In this video, we're gonna talk about how to get natural carpal tunnel relief in 10 minutes. For those of you that have carpal, that you think you have carpal tunnel syndrome, the question is, do you have carpal tunnel syndrome? So when we look at the relationship between the forearm and the wrist, we can begin to start to understand exactly what's going on here. If I put my hand in front of you and I move my fingers, I don't know if you can see my skin moving here, but what's happening is your wrist and your hand are actually controlled by your forearm muscles. And so imagine for a moment that you were, say, doing bicep curls all day long, right? All day long. You think eventually those muscles are going to get sore and tired. Well, the same thing is true when you're using your hands. So the question is, what are you using your hands for? right? You're on the computer, you're on text, you're, you're using your hands repetitively, you're writing. Anything that you do repetitively on one side especially, you're going to cause problems on that side as far as the forearm muscles. And so a really simple thing that you can do to, to see whether that's the problem is to begin to take some of the tension out of the forearm. So this is what I recommend you do. Take your fingertips, put them in the belly of your forearm. I'm right in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on here on the arm and I'm going to rotate like this. And what that does is it's going to take my fingertips across my muscles. I wish you could feel what I feel because it feels good. <laughs> Sometimes for some of you it may actually be painful. And so if it is painful, it's definitely a good sign that that's probably the cause of your problem. Okay, so we're going to work here. And then as we move down a little bit towards the hand, we're going to go across the muscles and across the muscles and across the muscles. And it gets a little bit harder as you get down towards the hand, but the main thing is right up in this area here, even putting pressure on your forearm right here to put pressure in here. And you may notice that it's really tender. And if it's really tender, a lot of times, like I said, the problem is not true carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a very, very specific condition where there's nerve impingement at the wrist. Sometimes even when there's nerve impingement at the wrist, it can be caused because there's problems in the forearm. I would say that for people coming to see me in my office, that nine out of 10 people that tell me that they have carpal tunnel related problems really just have overworked forearm muscles. So we want to work that out and you can do it yourself. You can have a massage therapist or a body worker get in there and really work it out uh, in any other way that you have, your spouse, your, your kid. <laughs> That's the very first thing. We want to work the tension out of the forearm. The second thing is we're going to, again, sound like I'm repeating myself again. We want to bring the inflammation down. If you're using your fingers all day long, Imagine you're exercising all day long. You were doing squats all day long. You were doing planks all day long. You were lifting weights all day long. Well, those muscles are going to get sore. They're going to get tired and they're going to get inflamed. And so we need to be a little proactive there to take care of our arms and our hands, especially if you're on the computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to put an ice pack, right? Really wrap it around the forearm and that's going to help to, to cool it down, take some of that inflammation down. If you're getting more pain down in your wrist, you can also put the ice around your wrist here. But anywhere along this whole section here, we want to cool it down and pull the heat out there. The third thing is about reducing or eliminating repetitive actions. So what are the repetitive actions in your life? So for some people, like I said, it's you're working on the computer, you're texting, what, do pe what else do people do? They're, uh, they're writing with a pen. Um, that's most of it. You know, a lot of people who get carpal tunnel related problems are working in front of the computer. I guess you could get it from, you know, heavy machinery. If you're working on a hammer and you're hammering something, that may also cause a problem. And so look at the repetitive actions in the course of your day to see what are potential causes that be, could be causing these muscles to start to overreact. So we're going to work across the muscles. We're going to cool it down, bring the ice or, or is something cold to bring the inflammation down. But we're going to also identify what the potential cause is. 
And so those three things are really critical to make sure that you're taking care of your hands, your arms, so that you actually can, can uh, use your hands and arms for your whole life. You know, we have to use our body parts and we have to live in this body for our whole life. And so if we start wearing out certain parts, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause problems down the road and we can prevent these problems from happening. The next video we're going to be talking about is three steps to back pain relief. For those of you who have back pain, it's one of the number one causes of disability in this country and probably around the world is back pain problems. So we're going to talk about three steps to back pain relief. Stay tuned.